for another Friday night of gymnastics. Hello, everyone. I'm Leander Riley, and this is our final semifinal matchup for you here on ESPN. Let's take a look at the brackets first for the women. Of our six semifinalists, two have advanced to the finals. This is our third and final matchup between Wendy Bruce and Marna Neubauer. On the men's side, our field of 12 was first paired to six, and our two finalists already are Lance Ringnald and Mark Warbutton, and now it is up to Mike Williams to take on Patrick Kirksey for the third and final slot. And here to talk about gymnastics is an Olympic gold medalist, Bart Connor. And Bart, let's first talk about the men. We have a tough matchup between Mike Williams and Patrick Kirksey. This will be an interesting pairing, actually. Mike Williams is a lot of fun to watch. He can do a lot of tricks, but he doesn't have the... Mike Williams and Patrick Kirksey are really close together after one rotation. Patrick Kirksey has a two-tenths of one-point lead, 9-8 to 9-6. The women have yet to compete. They are going to begin on the vault, where Wendy Bruce will vault first, following Marna Nobauer. Now, Marna Nobauer will get an opportunity to see the scores that Wendy Bruce achieves. Each vault will be scored separately for Wendy. The first vault will be tallied, then the second vault will be tallied, and the higher of the two is the score that will carry as her all-around performance. Wendy is a very, very powerful vault. Wow. Tremendous distance on that vault, and actually, I know she could even do it better. She's doing the Yurchenko full in the laid out position. Watch your hands. They almost are off the back of the horse. She's mm -hmm. way out there. And she really does a good job <laughs> at turning that into an incredible score. Watch this round off. And you can see here, she's just her hands just about off the back side of the horse. She keeps her body laid out, does a full twist, and nails the landing. 9.85 the score for that first ball. And we call that making chicken salad out of chicken feet because her hands were not on that horse. How she did that, that, that defies description. She, in fact, trains with uh, the top gymnast in the U.S. right now, Brandy Johnson, down at Brown's Gymnastic Academy with Kevin Brown. They're good vaulters. Oh, that's good. There you see Kevin Brown in the background. That time she got her hands on the horse and she got a good square push. But I have to admit, coming off the first vault where her hands almost completely slipped, she wasn't worried about making and nailing the landing this time. She was just worrying about getting a good push as she did there. Straight body, full turn, one hop. Ironically, her second vault received a score of 9.80. So it is the score from the first vault that is going to carry 9.85. A nice way for Wendy Bruce to start the semifinals of the 1989 U.S. Challenge. Her opponent is Marna Neubauer, a young lady who is new on the gymnastic scene. She is just 14 years old. Marna Neubauer is coached by Al Fong. They have a very strong program, the Great American Gymnastics Express in Blue Springs, Missouri. Okay. Now that was a Yurchenko vault in the laid out position. She didn't do the twist as we saw Wendy Bruce attempt. Once again, it's a round off onto the board. Back handspring onto the horse. Good, clean, straight body position in the Yurchenko vault. Once the hand placement was just right on top of the horse there, that was about right. Actually, the gymnasts want to have their hands on the board side of the horse so that they can use a little bit of the angle of the curvature of the horse to get a good solid block to get them up in the air. That ball, by the way, has a maximum value of 9.7. She received a 9.45. Here's her second attempt. A little bit better that time and a great landing. The score she wants to beat is 9.85. Interestingly, she's five feet four inches tall, kind of long for a gymnast. Good position that time, a little bit better push on the horse, good straight body position. This time, she was farther from the horse, and of course, that's the one of the things the judges are looking for, height and distance from the horse. Marna Neubauer, 14-year-old gymnast, born in Independence, Missouri, trains with Al Fong at the Great American Gymnastics Express. She says the bars is her favorite event. She scored a 9.25 in the preliminaries. Cast handstand. Reverse heck. Good job. Straddle back to the low bar and a toe on toe off. I like that combination. Nice giant. 
Two Giants in a row. And a tuck double back. Good landing. That'll score pretty well. Although she did leave out one of the requirements, the judges need to see a change in direction, and she did not do that. She needs to do either a half or a full turn to fulfill that requirement. She did not do that. Here's the opening move. Cast a handstand. Reverse hect. Just right. And then this straddle back to the low bar. Very nicely done, and she goes right into the toe-on-toe-off. That's a good combination. But keep in mind, she faced this direction the whole routine. She did not do any turning. Although she finished with a good giant to a tuck double back, the judges will make a deduction from the composition requirement that she did not do any turns. Hi, Wendy. Marna Neubauer began her gymnastics career at the age of seven. Hi, Wendy. Come on, Wendy. She is currently a freshman in high school at St. Mary's High School in Blue Springs, Missouri. And now you're looking at Wendy Bruce, who is waiting for Marna's score before she can go. I'm sure the reason why it's taking long for the score is the judges are discussing the fact that she left out one of the requirements. There. You see Sharon Weber, the head judge there. And we've just been given the score for Marna Neubauer. It is 9.30. Wendy. Wendy. And that'll give the green flag to Wendy Bruce. She is 16 years of age. She's been in this sport for nine years. She began at the age of seven. She has a really hot routine. In fact, she does a reverse hack at the beginning here. That's just about the best one in the world. It is so high and technically so good. Watch this. Cast the hands, and here it comes. That's incredible. Very nicely done. Cast right back up. Giant. Half turn down to a front or a Jaeger. And it traverses to the low bar. As you notice here, she's done some turning elements. Two half turns to this point. So she did fulfill that requirement. But look at the power on the giant swings and the hot tuck double. Oh, she rotated around quick on that double. She really is exciting to watch. I like her style. It's fast and it's aggressive. Very impressive. She sure has been consistent on ESPN. We saw her win the mixed pairs. And now we're watching her do a good job here. Look at the height on that reverse act. And she does a good combination here. She casts a handstand. Giant over the top and then does a half turn through to a Jaeger. <laughs> Two really hot release moves back to back. And once again, she finishes with a powerful giant as she crosses the top, sets up a tuck double back, a little sloppy in the air. Looks like she could crank for a triple flip. And the judges awarded her performance quite generously, and she deserved it. 9.775 for Wendy Bruce on the uneven parallel bars.